Here is an example how to create a moving conveyor in SOLIDWORKS. Let's see how we do this. First create a shaft, make something visible at the end so it shows when it rotates. Also an axis is good to have. And the blue geometry is a multi-body, a little bit thicker than the shaft. Hide this body. Insert the part into an assembly, mate them. We will not need to connect them by rotating. This will be done automatically with the belt chain command. Now this blue geometry needs to be a little bit thicker than the belt itself. You can see it here. But the blue multibody should be hidden. Create some more parts and also something to move on the conveyor. Everything is set, so start up motion and also disable the view key orientation so it can have the view you are looking at. Select the direction of the gravity, select the motor and type in some value. Frame per seconds could be adjusted upwards and the contact resolution could be set somewhere in the middle. Just start to see how things are rotating and how it behaves. Select the contact between the box and one shaft and adjust the material so we have a high friction value. Like dry rubber is very high friction. Between the box and the conveyor belt, disable friction, so it's zero, it will glide on this. And also make sure that the box is hitting the shaft, it's hitting the blue geometry even though we cannot see it. Start a calculation and the box will go over the conveyor. To make another conveyor that moves a box upwards, we cannot use zero friction. Basically it starts with the same setup, but make a linear pattern of one shaft. Do this at the end, you don't need to adjust each, uh, assign a motor on each shaft, it will done automatically. So it's actually on these blue ribbons that will move the box upwards. So make sure that the conveyor is not thicker than the multibody geometry and adjust the resolution if needed. Have fun creating your own conveyors.